Alright, so we finally got our home on the foundation. We're going to go out there and look at it in a minute. Uh, you basically saw what's going on on the outside. They delivered our house. We got to put on the foundation. And then we went ahead ourselves, and a lot of you people out there aren't going to be able to do this. We hooked our own water up. We hooked our own electricity up. Come on over here. We got the water leaks fixed, but now what I'm doing, I'm running the water line. All right, pull it. Pull it. Is that good? Okay, hold it there. So what we're doing is running the water line. Manny, I see this. that. Are we almost there? I can't tell. No, you got a long ways You're to go. You're shitting me. Long ways to go. Okay. Just hold on. Hurry up, man. Hurry up. We're turning daylight. Do you want to come down here and do this? Chop, chop. The only Damn. good thing about this situation, it's unrolling really easy. I was about to say, it's really unrolling easy right there. When we did the PEX pipe for our shop, it was real hard. Yeah, it didn't lay out flat like that. Remember? Yeah, I do. Very well. It didn't lay out like this. How far we got? I can't see. You're about, I don't know, 20 foot from the house. Great. All right, we'll be back, guys. Huh? I said we'll be back. Hang on. I got it. It's all hooked up here. Dang it. Now we'll go ahead and leave that like that in case we got to pull it because I got to put a water faucet in. I got to get out of this hole. There's the sleeve right there. Alright. Can I get out of here? That or goes what? from one side of the house to the other? Yes. Oh, wow. I'm going to walk back down here. Uh, okay. We just ran almost 300 feet of water line for our house. If I can do it, you can do it. Leave me alone. I think this machine did most of the work. Don't tell Pete. The machine did most of the work. It's a great morning here in Moab. We got Bernadello or Bernanito or some kind of place over by Albuquerque. Paul digging our ditch trench for the electricity. And of course, the new house. There'll be a crew out here this week. Hopefully tomorrow or the next day by the latest to start doing the interior 
uh, cleanup work, taping and bedding and fixing all the cracks and stuff, and seaming her together. But of course, they gotta have electricity to do that. And that is why we have Paul digging our ditch, because Pete is not good at running equipment like that. So as you can see, it's pretty fast going. Checking out the view. That's going to be our view out of our living room window and our kitchen window. Because this is the back of the house. Not the front. This is the back. The front's going to be facing our beautiful Moab rim, which runs pretty much all the way into town. Now that ditch that's being dug by Paul <coughs> is going to go from there all the way to this electrical box right here. Well, we'll tie into it right there so that we have electricity. And that way, it's actually the way we've done this, it's a all-in-one panel. And that way we have a one electric bill for both buildings. So that'll make it really nice. And then all this pipe we see here, this is for our sewer line and that is going to be for the shop and for the house and of course that starts at the infamous septic tank so we had a plumber come over here and start on our plumbing and he screwed it up we already know that am i right um, we've actually used our toilet maybe eight times. Uh, we washed our hands several times and brushed our teeth. I've only taken a shower here two times. Maybe he's probably taken two or three showers. And guess what the problem is? You want me to tell you? You want me to tell you? Mr. Uh, plumber guy screwed up. I just talked to your buddy, Mr. Uh, septic tank guy. And guess what he said? He said, it sounds like your septic tank's put in backwards. Because the arrow on top of that lid that says out, means it's supposed to go out of the tank on that end, and there's a filter there. Hmm. There's you, two ends. There's he a, put it in backwards. He put it in backwards because he was in such a rush, he didn't realize that he put the out on the in. Okay, so there's probably like a check valve on He it. said what you need to do is take that cover off. There's a filter inside there, mm -hmm. and that's probably clogged up. Since you're going to be changing your plumber, plumbing out anyway, leave the filter out of it if possible. Now's the time to go ahead and subscribe, click the bell, and quit choking your chicken, people. It's crazy. It's a gobble, gobble, gobble situation. Choking that chicken ain't going to let you do it right. To do it right, you need to do it right by subscribing, clicking the bell for notifications, and helping my friend Pete out. Stop choking the chicken and subscribe now. Ooh. What a fucking joke. Do you know how much I spent for the septic tank? $6,800. Yeah, they're not cheap. It's actually cheaper than mine cost. He threw it in so fast that I couldn't even blink my eyes to watch them. That's how fast he put it in. Come on over here. What, so you can sling something on me? You see this thing right here? I'm gonna get that thing out of there and I'm gonna show it to you and you're gonna see what it reads on it. Look at it. That's just dirt that fell in there on top of it, it was cleaned up. So now I'm going down in the septic tank, everybody. I'm gonna take a swim. Mitch, the plumber!
think we're going to get this out of here, to be honest with you. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. Oh yeah, it's clogged. It is fucking clogged, all right. Look at that, look at that, look! Yeah, it's look fucking... That almost looks like sand. It's not sand, it's shit. It's fucking shit. And toilet paper. Watch out. That's, Look that. that's supposed to be on the other side between the tank and the leach field, huh? Yeah. That makes sense. There it goes. Are you looking at that? Are you looking at that? I don't want to look at it. This, look, this thing's supposed to go down there. Yes, please. Okay? What kind of plumber is this shit? What kind of plumber? Well, set that down. Throw that in there. Easy. Get a good picture of that. You're dripping. Look at it. Don't drip it all over the fucking ground, idiot. The infamous septic tank. And then we'll run, I believe, to the corner of the house and then around it to the sewer that's out there by the street that runs in front of our neighbor's house. The last phase of hooking up the house, the new house, over here is the sewer. The pooper, the crapper, the men's library, And here we are, getting that taken care of. We're putting in the sewage to the shop, then what we're gonna do is tie into the house. I hope you aren't showing my butt crack, because I know we are doing plumbing here. <laughs> the plumber. We've seen it already. Right here, Paul. You can't help but see it. crack kills. God. Okay, now Above what we're gonna do, we'll sweep this it here, because it looks like it's pointing the right direction. Let's leave this here until we get our ditch going, and then I'll hook all this back up. What do you think? Yes, sir. Okay, don't touch it. What we got here is this was our temporary hookup with Mr. Plumber Guy, piece of shit! So we got Paul out here, he's running our machine. And uh, getting her done. we got the electrical in, it's already done, we got the water. The last thing is the sewage, that's gonna be the most tricky because we gotta go uh, one inch for per foot. No, one inch for every four feet. And what did I say we were going to end up at? Remember, we calculated out at a, 180 feet. Yeah, you're going to be about 40, 40 14 feet more. down. 40 foot? No, 14. 14. Four, under four feet. Hey, are you ready, Bernalillo? Let's go. <laughs> you you whiskey Christian daylight feet. Okay, Paul met me from my videos. He watched the, what was it, the mess, Mustang? The Rustang. Rustang videos, and he said, you know what, I like my friend Pete. So I've known Paul for about five years. Every time we traveled to Moab, we tried to stop and see him and his family, beautiful family that they got. Paul's here to help me dig the hole and get her done. He's the digger guy, all right? Yep. He works the backhoe, all right? I'm helping him, he's helping me. You see what I'm saying? And that's what it's all about. Well, here we are and as you can see it's dark it's late and of course we're still working because that's the way it is when you're with my friend Pete the job ain't done until it's done let's zoom in on Pete and see what he's doing oh my god do you see what I see oh my god do you see what I see Oh my god! Oh my god! Do you see what I see? <laughs> Plumber's crack! Oh no! Don't tell him we did that. Don't tell him. What Pete's talking about, I don't know if you can hear him, is our um, $6,000 septic tank in Leechfield which uh, was ended up being a big $6,000 waste of money.
But oh well, you live and learn. For all you people out there that are buying property and a blank piece of property, um, always, always, always build your house first and then put your septic tank in. Look what we got. I know, I was just telling everybody. What'd you tell them? That uh, if you have a blank, blank piece of property in your building, we got a filter. We build, got a filtration system you can have for free. Build your house first and then put in your septic system. $6,800 $6, down the drain. I flushed it in the toilet. It wasn't this fucking toilet. Yeah, it was this toilet. It was this toilet because the septic tank's coming out tomorrow. Yep. So we got uh, Bernalillo Paul behind us, Mr. Spaniard himself. Now what we did... Come on over here. These ones here are just dry fit. When we got to the third one, we started gluing them in. Now you got to go a quarter inch. I'm going to show everybody a tech tip on how to get your quarter inch without using a level. I mean, using a, a tape measure. All right. If you look at your level, there's four lines in there, two for each side. Let me get that on. And if you look at the lines. The line on the outside, the two outside lines, when your bubble is on that outside line, that's a quarter inch drop. That's your quarter inch drop. That's what that other line's for. People don't really realize what it's for, but that's what it's for. It's when you're doing plumbing. It's your quarter inch drop, okay? Well, I knew that. I did. I knew that, but now you know. All right, now they're gonna put the next joint on in our little process. I guess these are 10 foot I pieces. Over here. I gotta have some pliers. Oh my god. You can use the rest of this up. Hold on, we got Paul here. We got Paul here. Turn the microphone up. We got Paul here. We got Paul here. Turn the microphone around. Benny, the camera girl. Over here, Paul. Pliers. Over here. We still got some in here. Okay, so what's going on? Paul guy, Mexi, uh, Mex Spanish. Uh, Spanish Paul. Spanish Paul. Uh, Peach and stand in the way because I almost took him out of the back. Yeah, he did. That's right. Yeah. I forgot. Paul smacked me and, and I went flying on the ground with a damn backhoe. And I told him, hey, you big dummy, get the hell out of the get way. Yeah, right. Like, after you hit me. Get out of the way. After you hit he me. He stands right there watching, like, what's going on? Should have had the camera action on that one. Wow, we're still working. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to fill the hole in. And now you can see why my friend Pete had to call in the professional. Mr. Spanier, Bernalillo, Mexican Paul, to the rescue. There you go. What a mess. What a freaking mess. But it's going to be alright because we're getting it done. And we got Spanish guy Paul up here doing his job. We're over here at SWRNC, Southwest Rod and Custom, Moab, Utah. The journey is almost coming to an end. The dream has almost made it to reality. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of hopes and a lot of prayers. But if you want something, you're going to get it done and do it right. With a little bit of help, of course. Okay, hear that noise out there? Sounds like construction equipment. Yes, you're right, it is. As you all know, one of the biggest problems that we've had during our time constructing our dream shop and getting our dream home has been the plumbing. And this, my friends, is the last step in us being official.
officially done with the plumbing. This cost 6,800 bucks. 6,800 dollars for this bullshit septic tank that they made me put in the middle of my property. And it should have went way down there. Way down there. In the easement. Way in the easement. Yeah. Uh, we've been out here for like three and a half hours digging this ditch. We got uh, Dan the sucker guy. Dan! How's it going? Shit, it's gonna turn up here. How's it going? We ready? Okay. Take a little bit more out. Well, I can't go across, remember? Huh? You can't go across, it's got them. Just on the one end. Oh, okay, you kind of jiggle it out? Okay, sounds good. All right, well that's Dan over here. We got Dan, the sucker guy. He's over at Moab Septic. If you got your septic, it is sucked out. Call Dan, right Dan? Or if you need a new one, put in. Or if you need a new septic tank, put in. That's the man. That's what he does. That's a 1,500 gallon septic tank. 1,500 gallons. Watch out, Pete. Whoa, watch out. Now this one here has got three separate levels in it. That's like for a five or six bedroom house right there. Um, going price out here to get septic tanks, what, 10 grand or something? Oh yeah. Well yeah, you know it's a good deal because when we priced it out, they wanted 10, 12 dollars. Well, I didn't, you know the guy I talked to, he didn't even let me finish. He said $10,000. It's $10,000 septic tank, that's how much it cost. So we got Dan over here and you can see how gentle he is with the, running that thing on low pressure. Listen, I can't even hear the motor run. Hold on, man. Go up slow. This is Pete over here at SWRC DIY Auto School. Because if you ain't doing it right, you ain't doing it at all. And here's a good fucking example. Did I tell you that thing was hooked up backwards? Backwards. Backwards, bitch! All right, here we go. The uh, big, oh, whoa, headache of uh, Pete's is fixing to be no more. Hopefully, um, it doesn't fall off there and kill Pete. But this has been one big, major headache of Pete's ever since we started this years ago. Yay. Now I don't have to hear any more about
about this stupid freaking septic tank that cost us a fortune. For anybody out there, what I was going to say, for anybody out there that is uh, buying a home or building a home and they got to have a septic tank, let me tell you this. This is what I learned. You put the septic tank in last. That is the last thing that you do. Not first, not second, not third, but last. And I think Pete realizes that now too. What a stinky, stinky situation. But thank you, Jesus, it's done. It's gone, or it's fixing to be, and we'll never have to worry about a stupid septic tank again. All right, so you all, low amp septic, you gotta talk loud, Dan. Oh, yeah. Dan the sucker man right here. <laughs> you need your septic tank cleaned out. You live in Moab. Call Dan. <laughs> he needs the business. You saw what kind of work he does. It's professional all the way. Yeah. And then you got to say to your friends out there, Dan, you're from uh, Cortez area. Oh, Mancus, yeah. Mancus, that's up there. Uh, Mesa, Verde. Mesa Verde, where the uh, cliff dwellers. Remember that? They yeah. said, he said when they had a fire back 25 years ago, they found four more cliff dwelling places. Forty. Oh wow! He grew up there. He used to go in there and play and everything. That was his backyard. Yeah, yeah. Dan's a. I found a deer horn there. Remember? Yeah, Dan's a Dan's a mountain man. Mountain man, Dan. <laughs> we gotta go. This is Pete. The nightmare's almost over. All I gotta do is fill this big hole. Minnie's got her uh, coat around her mouth and her face. And my friend Pete is. Uh, you need some help, Dan? He's got it. Okay, we got to go. See you later. SWRC Moab. Yeah, well, out of school Moab. We're here. Almost. I'll get my shovels and stuff.